Welcome to ETFTL Season 26 Week 2 match between Arctic Foxes and Lemmings. Today I am joined by Frisk, I believe it's your your first cast. So mm, well, Third cast, man. Third cast, alright. Yeah. Well, I'm really out of the game. I haven't even, I haven't even been keeping up with any of the <laughs> cast play. Yeah. So yeah, it'll be interesting. Um, this is the sort of the grudge match of the season, I guess. It's the Arctic Foxes, Lemmings. They're sort of all known for being on that Lemmings team in the past and maybe it's just uh, the people that have s sort of broke away that are going to try and crush them today, you never know what's going to happen, but um, yeah. what, what are you thinking for this game? Yeah, we'll have to see, uh, it'll be interesting if that'll affect the game, uh, maybe the tension, maybe some uh, some tilting players could affect the, these maps, uh, but uh, I think for Snakewater I'd probably give it to uh, Arctic Foxes. Uh, I think their scouts are just so strong, um, and of course they do have really solid soldiers, uh, DD5F and Feeling of course. You know, you know, I think in the scouts on Lemmings are quite a strong Sorex, the sort of yeah. notorious pass to brain DM scout yeah. where he yeah. just goes in and kills everything without really thinking <laughs> about it. And then Inns, who I believe was on um, one of the top Russian teams this last season. Yeah, uh, yeah, it might be, five. yeah, there's quite a lot of good squ uh, scout talent in this uh, match. So I am looking forward to seeing some huge frags from both teams. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, the I guess Sikaz and Shock here are definitely or Sikaz, as I should pronounce it. I think I've been mm -hmm. calling him the wrong name <laughs> for like the past year or so. But anyway, yeah. I think uh, he he has definitely been impressing me lately. Like him, um, just like you'd think Shocky would be outshining him, but he's really been keeping up and. <laughs> with this sort of old veteran coming back to the game, yeah, you know, he's sort of been hanging about for a while, but he's he's also he's been around for a while. He knows what he's doing. Mm. But uh, yeah, like Psychos, I kind of just knew him as some high scout who was alright. I think I played with him a few times actually as well. But uh, judging from uh, his play so far, he's really an upcoming talent. So we've got to keep our eye on him. Yeah, that's definitely good to him, but. Oh, do you want to take, off through, take us through the Arctic Foxes roster, just to make sure everyone's sort of familiar with them? Yeah, well, uh, we got DD5F and Feeling on Soldier, Shocky and Psychos on Scout, uh, Adam Rasek, I think I say it on Demo, and Raptor on Medic, but I think we are going live, Frosty. Uh, so, uh, quick rundown of Lemmings. We've got Inns, Sorex Scout, Coldheart, Zesty on Soldier, Elcor on Demo, and Honey Badger on Medic, and we are going off onto this first mid. So, do you want to take us away on this? Yeah, as you see, Adam Rustic and Delacour are just trying to exchange some spam early. They're quite early, their team just coming out here through uh, Saw. As we do see Raptor and his pocket coming out through this uh, Ramparts area, but Zesty is in. He's right onto Raptor, gets taken out there by Psychos. Uh, wow, as well, GD5F right onto Honey Badger. Honey Badger goes down uh, as Elecor picks up Psychos, and it's just uh, Elecor in here at the moment, but Sorex hanging around in the Saw area will get out. We'll actually be able to get out. Taking a bit of a fight here with DD5F, yeah. but uh, that will be a convincing mid for uh, Arctic Foxes. Yeah, that was a very, very dominant mid there to start off from... Uh, Sorex though, on um, mid, he's going to take the... Ooh. Oh, he wins the 1v1 with Shocky. Good play from Sorex there, really good read as their team, as Arctic Foxes all the way at second. Yeah, dd 5 and the whole combo has actually come back for this. Um, one of the players is going through Saw to stop this, but they will eventually get off the cap, but really good play from Sorex to get behind there and sort of stop that aggression. He's yeah, even I mean, maybe going to take Psychas down on the back lanes here. Yeah, the Uber actually was forced from Raptor. This is a really good play from uh, Lemmings, but uh, Sorex and Inns do go down, and it looks like they're just uh, Lemmings are just going to be able to hold in this uh, obby area. Yeah, it's really a d really dominating mid, and Sorex kind of pulling out of the bag to sort of save that round for his team, like and. Oh, but DD5F is onto, onto Honey Badger, wish the rockets and gets shot there by Elecor, Fat Five onto Soldier of DD5F, and uh, right now Uber Charge is more or less equal. Uh, they're just going to keep building this here at second for uh, Arctic Foxes as uh, Lemmings looking to maybe do something from the slower area. Elecor and Honey Badger coming up here into the second as uh, uh, Arctic Foxes are at the slower area. Just going to kind of back it up here and kind of manage to just make their way into second right now. Yeah, we do see Shocky trying to go for a bit of a sneaky play there, not quite getting onto the team, but um, that's very good from uh, DD5F sort of just sort of went full in and uh, without that Uber charge on Raptor, Lemmings were able to just sort of bully them out at that point and to see them sort of taking, sort of shaping up to take control of the saw area, we might be seeing some sack coming in from the Lemmings side, or maybe even DD5F going for some crazy shovel plays in, as it does look like he's going to try and try and get in here. 
Yeah, it's, it looks he is poised to maybe come in through this window. Because the Ubers are equal, they're trying to maybe look for some sort of force, get an advantage to take it in here to the second, but they are kind of poking in here. As DD5F does make his jump, he's right onto Honey Badger. Can he hit the second rocket? He's up in the air, he actually uses one about a 10 health. Wow, just milking it, but he does actually get the force off. And Arctic Fox is just going to keep this Uber, going to be ready to repush this surely anytime soon. Yeah, that was really smart for them. We do see Zesty sort of uh, hanging about this lower area, maybe trying to get a force, but I think uh, the Arctic Foxes are just going to be able to sort of use that uber charge that they got off DB5F's bomb and just uh, muscle their way into this point with, hopefully for them anyway, trying not to pop it off and cap this point for free, maybe even take it on to last. Uh, yeah, as we do see them walking in here, going to be picking up the second point. Zesty falling very weak, actually falling back out to last. Uh, in is it upon an engineer. Uh, and they do still have the, the uh, uber advantage. Honey Badger does have 70%, they could maybe build this if uh, Artifoxes are slow, but they are coming in here to the under the lower area. The uber has been popped, sentry gun, doing a bit of work, finally gets taken down. Looks like oh, Psychism Shock could get taken down actually by Elecor with the stickies on the point. This isn't looking very good for Arctic Foxes, as, wow, it looks like Adam is really weak, it's taken down. It's only the soldiers alive here, really. And they're very weak, surely getting taken down. Bit of a scrappy fight, but Raptor getting out this lower area. Can he escape? Oh, Raptor actually is uh, <laughs> going up, drop down, trying to get one Dude, of Raptor, a sneaky back clap. Raptor was there, but... trying to get the back clap, but he didn't even notice Sorex was just following him. Okay, yeah. that was I very... admire the effort. Yeah, it was unlucky from uh, Raptor there. He's, you could see the, the idea in his head there, yeah. but unfortunately it's just going to delay his respawn and uh, no heals on mm. this mid for uh, <laughs> for the Arctic Foxes and Lemmings are going to just be able to yes. roll in here. These are Prem teams, Frosty, I'm pretty sure they are, and they will check those uh, sneaky backcaps, <laughs> but they are. Well, Sorex actually just gets piped by uh, Adam Rasnick from nowhere, I didn't see that. Coldheart as well going down to Shockey. That's uh, not very good here for Lemmings, they're just not going to have that advantage, uh, the player advantage, so they're just going to back up here to second. Yeah, no, that was crazy. They should have been able to sort of uh, just walk their way on there without those heals, but it seems Arctic Foxes have completely turned it around, just using their DM skills to completely deny that push onto mid from mm. them, and DD5F is launching directly <laughs> into last. He's trying to get on honey. He just gets annihilated, though. Yeah, he brings out the shovel, but no luck for him this time. As you do see, Arctic Fox is holding back on the second point. The Ubers will, well, Uber will be coming up for Honey Badger. Raptor will be getting a super shortly as well. We'll have to see if Lemmings will go with this. Elcor is looking like he might want to do something here, but for now they are just going to hold in this lobby area and Raptor will actually get a supercharge, so he will have a bit of a equal uber advantage situation. Uh, and we do actually see Ince on Spy, but he might just be taking the off classes and he yeah. back on scope. Yeah, that's also a really sort of undervalued uh, sort of tactic that a lot of people sort of overlook is just um, checking for spies and checking for snipers and stuff like that. As DD5F mm -hmm. actually gets caught out by the sniper <laughs> and the soldier of Inns there. So maybe going to try and send in a sack. Zesty is really low, so he's not really in a position to sort of go in for that sack play to mm -hmm. sort of make, make something happen. But we do see Sorex is um, he's <laughs> way ahead of the rest of his team <laughs> in that lobby. Don't know. Could have got caught out there if he wasn't, um, wasn't careful, but I think if anyone's going to know what he's doing. The pass is in his, his, his way of playing. <laughs> yeah, Sorax maybe hoping to pick somebody up in lobby who's a bit overextended. But it was okay that uh, DD5F did uh, die there. Uh, as they did have that sniper, they weren't really ready to push out of last. And right now it's just a bit of a stalemate situation as they do have that Insan sniper. But he is holding quite far back, kind of waiting for Octo Foxes to make the first move. They don't yeah. really have any reason to push right now. They don't really have any sort of advantage. They well, are making their way can... into this lower uh, or into this lobby area. They look like they want to go through uh, Shutter, but they have been spotted by Zesty. Well, I think it's just they're trying to get some uh, room for this uh, shocky play. Maybe trying to hope for some sort of sniper pick. Um, <laughs> they're kind of going a bit low, and Psychaz actually does go down. But maybe they're still trying to get some good spam off so that their, their sniper can get a good opportunity. But Lemming's really pressuring this lobby quite hard. They're all going down to quite low health. But um, yeah, there's. Kind of good from the Arctic Foxes to sort of save most of their players. They're only their sniper going down, so it's not too detrimental to them. But um, yeah. they should be able to hold off this second point. I'm feeling went for a little bit of a bomb onto Honey, but uh, missed his rockets and got taken out. So Arctic Foxes is a bit on the back foot here. As Lemmings are looking to come in here to the second point. Uh, the demo man of uh, Arctic Foxes is doing some good spam there, but this is really not a good uh, situation for uh, Arctic Foxes as the Uber does come out. They don't have the players. D5 that going down as well as Ince uh, for Lemmings. Bit of a scrappy fight right now. Zesty bombing in as well. The soldier of Coldheart actually taking down Raptor. That's a good pick there. Let's see uh, the soldier 
the remaining players, I should say, from Arctic Foxes, trying to see if they can still do anything. They're right, they're still in the second point. They're really weak as well, they should be taking this out. Sorax does pick up two huge kills, and then a pipe coming out from Elecor to finally finish off the demo man. Yeah, that was um, that was one of those plays where you sort of think, oh, our med's dead, but we're still in, so yeah. they're, they're not going to escape in that situation, so it was kind of the smart thing to sort of go for a play, it's kind of unfortunate for them. Raptor's they, on mid right now. Oh, okay, Raptor mm -hmm. just was kind of just in on mid by himself, really, and just gets annihilated by a direct from, uh, <laughs> I think that was, uh, I think that was Zesty, I'm not sure, but he gets taken down, Shocky's going down right now as well, the psych is very weak, just escape, but uh, yeah, Shocky was, he was hiding at mid, and... He also got taken down, but that was such a weird play from Raptor. But, yeah, uh, maybe a bit of a communication error there, and uh, maybe 100% sure what his team was doing as we do see him picking up the uh, vaccinator here on this last push, where um, I think he's just sort of going to the last resort of just mm. going to that vaccinator, which he was actually using very well in the past, and it's so difficult to really get anything done. As they're all yeah, well, right side here we go, they have used the Uber into last, sentry gun has gone down, in all the way up in the air, trying to get the air shot, he just got taken down actually. And wow, this isn't looking very good here. Raptor does though, he does have the uh, vaccinator. He's just surviving so much, he's blocked so much damage. Uh, but he gets picked up by Honey Badger, the arrow. Raptor was just inside the spawn door, but Honey Badger takes him down. But the rest of uh, Lemmings have actually gone down as well, so it's just going to be Honey Badger making it out alive. Yeah, that was a great play from Honey Badger to realize that he was on that um, explosive resistance and he, mm. he was the only one that could save it for his team and gets off that like, hero arrow to <laughs> sort of save the round and keep that massive 50% over advantage for his team. Yeah, like that uh, vaccinator was, did so much work because I thought I thought uh, Arctic Foxes were going to get taken down because they were all in this, the right hand side area of last but it actually worked so well and they couldn't pick up uh, couldn't pick up the medic because of the resistance but uh, we're just going to reset for now as uh, Honey Badger is coming up on his Uber. Raptor has also switched uh, over to the Uber charge, so pretty much equal, uh, unless they go right now, but uh, they're kind of just holding in lobby. Maybe going in the shutter area. Sorx kind of wanting to go here. Alicor peeking this drop down area as well. They have used the Uber. Both Ubers exchanged here. Sentry Gun doing a bit of work. Hasn't actually been taken down yet, so that's well said. He and Honey Badger getting picked up on uh, shutter. As uh, Zesty or Honey Badger just couldn't get out there, but a uh, bit of a failed push from Lemmings. Yeah, that was not not t terribly good from them. We just see Coldheart actually uh, holding in this uh, top of uh, top cheese, mm. maybe trying to go for some sort of flank play. Maybe they're. Yeah, she looks like she's uh, sort of shaping up to go in now and maybe get a play onto the medic, but yeah, as you were saying, then, very unfortunate for Honey to get caught out there. And <laughs> Coldheart is getting yeah. noticed by DD5. <laughs> she's just going to have to get back as soon as possible, which is completely trapped and absolutely nothing in there. <laughs> no, but Zesty isn't behind and he hit the rockets on the Raptor, he actually picks up Raptor. That's a really good play from Zesty, he just jumped in from window and saw room. As Ince is stuck in here in second, can he do anything? He's actually, Adam is very weak, so are the scouts, he could actually take this. Psych is only him down, but Ince will just get picked up, it was really weak there. But wow, uh, that was a good play from Zesty and Ince actually to pick up the medic. Um, and this is uh, gonna help really for Emmings, as Honey will have uh, probably 30% advantage. Yeah, that does seem to be the story of this game, it's just uh, loads of crazy action and then uh, mm. Arctic Foxes look like they're going up and then Raptor just goes down in some crazy situations, so it's very good from the sort of uh, the flank team, the flank side of the Lemmings to sort of keep that, keep them in this game. But we do see them just sort of uh, standing here on mid, just building up as trying to keep that massive Uber advantage that they sort of worked from themselves, but I think the arrow building on the side of uh, on Arctic Foxes is going to completely even up and if not they're going to have a wee bit of a Uber, Uber ad, and you just see here they're just building it so well that Raptor yeah, going down just didn't matter. Didn't, but uh, Alicor actually, they've used the, well that's weird, they used the Uber, they took so much spam in that choke area, and this is such a bad Uber for Lemmings, they're just gonna have to back it up here, as Arctic Fox is just chasing, want, they just want honey, it was such a poor Uber, but Zesty gets taken out, will they be able to hold mid? It looks like they will, uh, that was a bit strange of a push there, uh, what do you think about that Frosty? Yeah, they kind of just walked in through lower, took a bunch of spam, and then when they eventually did get that Uber off, they were just in a trade situation with no health. So Arctic Fox is able to work off that health advantage, and they're going to be pushing straight into this midpoint. They see the, t the soldier and demo just jumping up top left, catching a cold heart. Well, um, Lemmings are just going to have to tuck tail and get onto the second point. Yeah, DD5 was so deep there, actually. Honey Badger in about 40 health, but wasn't able to pick up the kill. Uh, it's going to kind of halt this uh, momentum from Arctic Foxes, but they... Uh, are in the sore, yeah, the uber charge is pretty much equal at the moment. Probably just gonna wait until they do get their uber charge up before trying anything. Uh, but, uh, Lemmings are holding kind of back 
far back in lobby. Arctic Foxes maybe could make something happen, but they are as well only holding back at mid. It's a lot of distance between these teams. Yeah, well, they did lose um, DD5F when he went into Sack there, which um, I think was a very good play from him. You sort of see him get the, those soldier picks or those scout picks, and then they'll just send DD in as soon as possible. And it's like he's he's very good at getting in any situation because he's such an avid rocket jumper. But um, yeah, it's very good from him to sort of keep them in this game and try and get those crazy picks as they do sort of shape up to go for this sort of push. And DD oh, is yeah, well, yet again. Oh, yeah, gets picked up, and they're just going to run in here, but DD5F gets picked up. It looked like the soldiers wanted to go, but there was a bit there was some hesitation, but Soros did get picked up. Like, that was the call to go, but they have actually brought it in now, as uh, the Ubers, or well, the Uber has come out here for uh, Raptor. Uber only getting popped now from Honey. Instos go down, but it looks like Hildar might be able to make something happen as Choker. He just gets stuffed by Shocky, though, and this isn't good here for Lemmings, as Honey has, Uber has faded. Surely getting picked up, he's on 60 hell. He's actually going to get out lower. Wow, that's some good movement from Honey, as he surely will get out of Sorex. Uh, will create some uh, time for him to escape. Yeah, it does look like they're just going to be coming straight in with three picks down. The spawner's just coming up now for the Lemming side. Uh, the Arctic Foxes are trying to get in, but they've lost two. Both Adam wow. and Shocky have gone down, and they're just going to have to get out. There's no way that they're going to make this push work. This up. The spawners of Lemmings coming in here, that was very unlucky for them. Like um, You could see they were thinking, oh, three mm. picks, we can get in and try and make this um, convert this round from all that damage that they got on that second point but they just weren't quite fast enough the spawners coming in and they're just going to be holding this second point and they've got the 100% uber so they might be trying to trying to make their way in now before the lemming side get this uber yeah they do have 20% advantage doesn't look like they're particularly ready to go honey will uh, be getting his uber as did uh, he picked up by i think it was uh, ins actually and there might be a soldier, yeah, dying here. Feeling goes down in that lower area. Now it looks like Arctic Foxes aren't in the best position. Lemmings could go with this, but DD5F has respawned. Elecor is... Oh, well, okay. <laughs> Elecor getting picked up by uh, by uh, Psychas, Sorex as well. Uh, that was a bit of a turnaround, actually, for Arctic Foxes. Yeah, yeah, that was, uh, <laughs> that was crazy. They like, lost both their soldiers, so they had like no way of uh, initiating any of that damage. and. It looks like they're just holding, they're trying to push this left side and just getting loads of spam off, but they, they notice that there's a heavy oh, and they just don't want to do that. <laughs> Raptor. Like his, he, he actually just killed Honey Badger from Shudder, he just gave him a pistol shot and he died. So uh, it looks like Arctic Foxes are just going to bring this in, it's just it's alive, or well, the Helicor is here too, but it's taking so much damage. Uh, we do see Sorex on that background trying to do something, but they're just going to take this round. Wow, that was uh, a <laughs> strange death uh, from Honey there. Yeah, yeah, that was crazy then. Psycho is just showing him the, um, showing him the one tap, just <laughs> walking yeah. in with his pistol, getting him down, and then absolutely saving that round and converting it for his team. And 15 minutes into this game, we finally got our first round, so that was a great play from him there. Yeah, first round was uh, quite back and forth. It took a bit of a, uh, like, bit, uh, a bit too long maybe for some people's uh, liking, but uh, we are here at our second mid, as you do see both timer men trying to get some early spam here. DD5 that goes in, does take a lot of damage. It's cold hard. He's actually in. Uh, uh, Artifox's kitchen, but we do see, I think that's a uh, feeling very high in the air as Elecor gets picked up by Adam. And uh, it's a bit of a scrappy fight here <laughs> as uh, Honey Badger picks up a kill. Zesty and Coldheart do go down, so does stand for uh, Lemmings, followed by Zesty. Uh, and yeah, it looks like DD5F might get the kill onto, Le onto Honey, but they're just, Artifoxes are just all over Honey and Sorex here, but they will manage to get out, it looks like. Yeah, that was crazy. Honey um, actually going down to the low health of 17 when uh, yeah. he got all that spam, so maybe if uh, a scout was with them just to sort of clean that up, they could have uh, got that uber down and then they would have been able to take the second point for free, but it looks like um, Zesty is actually hiding in the uh, upper upper piece, or uh, upper saw, sorry, but um, now nah, he's spammed off a few rockies, he's mm. getting out there, no, no place for him today. But um, yeah, they're just going to sort of set up for this uh, second point still, mate. Yeah, we will see uh, equal ubers uh, and... Uh... Artifoxes don't really have a reason to rush this. They are around up, they can take their time. Um, but Lemmings may be feeling some pressure here on the second point. Uh, this could, uh, if the Uber exchange is good for Arctic Foxes, this can be the perfect opportunity for another round for them as they are kind of peeking into the saw area. Uh, but it uh, looks like they're pretty much beating them here and saw both soldiers trying to get in here at the window area. It's feeling actually taking a bit of damage. But uh, wow, it looks like TD5F is in and gets annihilated. Uh, but does bring honey very weak, but nothing will actually come of that. Is yeah, the spam there from the spam there from the Arctic Foxes nearly just got that uh, got the honey down, but they're going to take the super in. 
Taking on to mid and rock. Oh, oh, the cold heart. Oh, How oh do you drop God. that? The cold heart just gives him a rocket and says, "Okay, if you're gonna give me the drop, I'll just take it from you." <laughs> They're just gonna pour it here into mid. But uh, wow, uh, that's that's crazy. Shocky here in uh, this choke area. Surely he'll be able to go down. But actually, picks up Zesty very weak. Shocky goes down, but Psych is right. Oh, huge fight from Alicor. Will he be able to pick up DD5F? He's really weak. Oh, he picks up two kills with the one rocket DD5F. Oh my goodness. Absolutely crazy. I don't know how Coldheart was just allowed to walk in there and get like four or five rockets off yeah. onto Raptor and just drop them. I mean, he should have just used his Uber there, but the sort of DM from his team just completely saving that from there. Like, you could see they were trying, they should have just stayed in Lemmings. They, they had like such good positioning. They had their medic, they had everything, but they backed off and then I just allowed the Arctic Foxes team to sort of push wherever they wanted and DD5F coming in, cleaning up the damage for his team and picking off the demo and medic and that's going to be them getting the second point and Raptor a massive 60% uber advantage and they're going to just take this over in through lore I think. Mm. Yeah there have been so many strange medic deaths this game and that's just going to add to it as we do see Kildheart has spotted them in this lower area but they do, of course they do have that uber advantage they're going to want to look to go with this feeling is uh, leading this charge he's just walking in right now sentry gun hasn't been uh, up yet uh, Alicor trying to take the point trying to, uh, but there is quite a bit of time on it actually from these guys they're just going to walk in the point but it uh, looks like uh, well, Lemmings might be able to do this, but no, they just lose all their players and Arctic Foxes are able to win the fight. Yeah, you saw there that all the players on the Lemmings side just crumbled onto that point. Yeah. Like, they saw that there was so much cap time, they all just wanted to get on it, but um, unfortunately for them, there was nothing they could do to stop it, and all of them taking the same spam from the soldiers and demo on that point just uh, led the, everyone to be able to clean it up and take that second round for Arctic Foxes. Yeah, just the classic play the point strat uh, coming out there. But uh, here we go, we're on third mid. Uh, both demons fairly fast, as we do see. Uh, some cap time here from Shaki getting uh, a bit spammed out there by the uh, Poison Scout of Sorex. Uh, there's nothing really happening right now, as DD5F actually does get uh, jumped in. He just jumps in there, but he gets destroyed actually. And well, it looks like Arctic Foxes are trying to get a bit aggressive here. His scout's falling a little, quite weak actually. Uh, Lemmings, this is a, a mid to win, but feeling actually gets picked up here by uh, Cold Heart Zesty as well. And. Uh, this is looking like a, a, a mid for uh, Lemmings. Yeah, that was crazy. You saw like um, Arctic Foxes had so much like position on the point, and they were um, get, really getting in there pretty easily. But mm. it just seemed like uh, the aggression was very well dealt with by the Lemmings side. They just picking up those bombing soldiers. No feeling, nor DD were able to get any sort of aggression off of that. But um, yeah, that's going to be Lemmings taking up the second point and going to be full uber charge for this uh, last push if they decide to take it. But I mean, with the the heavy and the sentry sort of going up. Uh, Arctic Foxes are not pushing anytime soon. You can tell they are very, very happy to just hold this last point. Yeah, it looks like the uh, the saving grace of that mid fight was uh, Rapture did get out with uh, the Uber advantage, and we do see the aft classes uh, of heavy and engineer. Uh, well, well, actually, they have come in here. Zesty making uh, this entry here. We'll pick up Shaki actually on engineer. Still very weak behind, gets picked up by uh, DD5F, and uh, Lemmings kind of not really sure if they should still be in here. His instance get picked up as well, it's dropped by Honey. DD5F actually getting picked up, really weak there by Sorex. And then the Uber has come out from uh, Raptor as Edicor is trapped in, will get taken down. Lemmings are just going to back it up here to mid. Yeah, I don't agree with that push there. Um, <laughs> they should have uh, sent someone in. Like Zesty did the right play of going in there, but I don't think they his team should have gone in, they should have just spotted out that sentry and that heavy and then just trying to oh, deal with it, but Raptor goes down! Wow, that was such a good play from Kaldar, and this is going to prompt the aggression here from Zesty, he's going to jump in here, looks like uh, Adam Risk is so weak and he actually will get picked up, but he, uh, will uh, Sorex be able to pick up DD5F? He will! Oh my goodness, it's th three up here for Arctic Foxes, they're going to want to take this into last right now, they're just, they're piling in on this left side, the heavy is up, and uh, they're going to try and get some cap time here right now, and they actually will be able to get this point. And wow, what a play from Coldheart to actually just win the round for uh, Lemmings. That was absolutely crazy. You just see complete turn of heads again. Like yeah. As soon as I say something is going well for one team, it seems they just completely <laughs> turn it around and prove me wrong. But that was crazy from them. They were just pushing out there. Coldheart gets that bomb onto Raptor and just completely saves the round for her team. Yeah, that was uh, just really good push there to get this uh, th that third round for them. But here we are at our fourth mid. As we see uh, Feeling and Raptor coming out here up this uh, balcony area. Feeling going for a little bit of a fake bomb. DD5F coming for the same bomb he went last mid and gets destroyed uh, pretty much the exact same way. 
Uh, this lots of weak players actually here for Arctic Foxes. If uh, Lemmings were to commit to this, they could actually pick up a lot of frags here, as they will just back out right now. Yeah, that seemed um, questionable considering they just lost to it, but um, Lucy Zesty actually Zesty. launching in onto the Raptor and he's got him down to such <laughs> low health, but he gets dealt with very well. That was crazy. You just see him do that massive high bomb. Yeah. The whole of Lemmings were actually peeking through lower there, so they could have possibly got onto him, but they're just going to pick up this mid and uh, <laughs> Arctic Foxes look to try and challenge it. But There's a scout caught in maybe here from uh, from Arctic Foxes, a uh, feeling as well going in. There's a lot of weak players for uh, Arctic Foxes as Shocky gets picked up there by Alicor. Uh, and we do see, uh, well, Psychos going down to Sorex. Yeah, that was a very, very questionable play there. You saw Zesty go in and die, but the whole of the Arctic Foxes mm. team just go in and try and, uh, try and get them down. But they've just given away three point, uh, three lives just to try and yeah, defend well, that. And they're they gonna are take on last already, and Sorex is just uh, <gasps> But Shocky actually, wow, that's a good shot from Sh uh, Shocky. This is probably saving the round as they, if they can block this point. Hiltard is still in, but surely we'll get, uh, be getting taken down by Shocky. Yeah, wow. That, that was crazy. Honey, like, just trying to walk in there, did not yeah. see that sniper, and just gets his head removed from his shoulders. Crazy play. Absolutely round saving from uh, Shocky there. Wow, uh, Alicor getting picked up. I thought he nearly got out of that, actually, but uh, was out of position. And uh, this actually might be uh, the demo man down. Arctifoxes may want to go at this, but they do have some spawners. Um, so Lemmings might be able to hold this mid. Yeah, Arctic Foxes do like they're going to try and take this in through Saw as quick as possible, uh, staying true to their form of being hyper aggressive. <laughs> going to take up this uh, Zesty pick on the top left here, and uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Psychos does go down, but their health is so weak on the side of Arctic Foxes. If uh, Lemmings come into this, they're going to be able to really yeah. get them. Lemmings are still their poised to come in here, and DD5F does go down. Like, they were just. Arctic Foxes were so weak after that fight that they could. Uh... Lemmings just went back and healed up in Saw and just came back in. Uh, as they will actually just push them back to their second point here and keep uh, keep this midpoint. Yeah, that was um really unlucky play from uh, the Arctic Foxes. Um, as we do see Lemmings actually taking in the advantage from Saw. Raptor popping off his Uber. Honey is going to be trying to back out as soon as possible, keeping that Uber advantage. They do lose both of the scouts though, so Arctic Foxes are going to be sending their soldiers in. No uh, aerial aggression or aerial denial. Going to get this force off from Honey and they're just going to try and back out, keeping the Raptor alive. Yeah, Honey just popped, like, he hadn't taken a single point of damage yet. It supposed just the threat there of, uh, I think it was DD5F was enough to force him. But DD5F is on to Honey Badger right now, and he will actually pick up that frag, and maybe he'll be able to pick up Elicor as well, and it looks like he will. And while that's Honey too alive, it's only the scouts here for uh, Lemmings, since they're just going to try and get onto Raptor. Will he be able to pick him up? In <laughs> he just gets pinned to the wall from Raptor. Uh, well. Yeah, that was, um, that was absolutely mad <laughs> there. You just see Honey playing it safe, taking off the Uber, but he didn't really uh, account for Arctic Foxes just completely committing, and it seems like that's... Um, it seems to be their style, this game, is just going in with very little, and then... <laughs> oh, but Zesty! <laughs> same with Zesty picking up Raptor, really good rockets. Uh, they just came in here, it was, only, it was only... I think it was only uh, Raptor and a scout on mid, so they were able to actually just get in with the advantages. It was only uh, spawners alive for uh, Arctic Foxes. Here we are again, really, with a bit of a stalemate, but Honey does actually have about 60% advantage, so they will be looking to come in here at the second point and maybe use this advantage to uh, take a last point, but Honey, Honey's behind! Uh, wow, he's actually behind DD5F and Choke, he didn't see him, he actually got an Uber saw off of that, that was strange. <laughs> uh, they will actually be able to take the second point, his Arctic Foxes are quite weak in their lobby area, Goldheart doing a good job of putting spam on there, so they actually will use this huge Uber advantage, probably to get into last. Yeah, that is that is something that DD seems to be seems to be known for, just feeding in, getting in there, trying to go for the crazy plays all the time with the shovel. As we do see Lemmings, massive Uber advantage. They're gonna have to they're gonna focus this heavy down when they're gonna go in here. Yeah, the Uber has come in here now. Heavy, really weak. They're just gonna pile these players onto this left hand side uh, spawn door. You have they've taken this uh shack uh, high ground, but it won't be enough actually, so they're just gonna stand on the point. Uh, and then it's gonna be another round here for uh, Lemmings as we are at uh, two all. Yeah, it was, um, it was a very, very sort of um, a clinical round out there from uh, Lemmings. They're just working off those picks that they're getting from uh, the aggression of Arctic Foxes. Maybe the Lemmings side have just um, figured out that <laughs> they're just going in crazy, crazy aggressive and uh, working off these easy picks that the sort of Arctic Foxes, while their DM is sort of not, not being able to sort of work the magic for them. Yeah, well, here we go at our fifth mid fight, and uh, we do see. Uh... 
It's like, Shocky's in, he actually hasn't taken taken down yet, he will actually live as Alicor goes down to feeling a DD5 level, there's really good work from the soldiers, as Coltheart is trying to get in here onto Raptor, won't be able to hit the shots, Raptor with a really good surf actually, but we'll get picked up by Sorax and the scouts of Lemmings doing so much work, and it's just the scouts alive for Arctic Foxes and they're so weak, Shocky is on one health, he actually wins the duel with uh, Ince and he will actually back out to second. Yeah, this this is this seems to be the thing that Arctic Foxes are going for, I mean, they go so aggressive on mid that they don't have really anything else they can do. Like it seems they're just they just don't know how to play passive and Lemmings oh, are doing Shockey. so well. Shockey's onto Honey Badger and Choke! Oh and he just, Honey Badger was alone, no one was with him and he just dropped into Choke and Shocky was waiting on the health pack. Oh, and he completely gets, missed that. Yeah. Well he just gets no. just destroyed, uh, and Zesty getting picked up as well. It looks like uh, Archer Foxes will be able to hold the second point, but Sorex just completely destroying feeling. Will he be able to pick up uh D five F? Yes he will actually with the help of Ints. As uh, he yeah. will retreat to mid. I feel like um, I need to just switch off the, the way I'm watching this game. It seems like as soon as I watch a combo, there's something <laughs> happening on the flank, and it's just absolutely mental. All the players on this game seem to be going for crazy plays at any given time, so absolutely yeah. amazing aggression coming in from everyone. <laughs> yeah, we will see uh, more or less uh, equal uh, Ubers. They are just going to be content to build us a second, as the spawners are alive now for uh, Lemmings. Uh, but uh, Raptor actually will have a Big advantage. I did say they had equal, more or less, but it uh, looks like Rapture. I'm not sure if they're arrow building, but he will have uh, his Uber coming up now. And Arthur Fox is looking to come in through this uh, kitchen area. They haven't actually been spotted yet, but it looks like Sorax. Oh, an Elecor though! Fix, 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 fix up Rapture with the, uh, the stickies. I can't even speak. That was incredible. <laughs> Adam is stuck in kitchen. Oh my goodness. Zesty is on the back cap here. Uh, maybe getting taken down from a uh, Shocky. He's falling very weak and Adam Rasek is back in here to help him pick up that frag, but oh my goodness, that was looking just so good for uh, Arctic Foxes coming in with the uber advantage, but just such a clever sticky trap. Yeah, that seems wow. to be, that's absolutely crazy. It doesn't matter if Raptor is building that uber with arrows to get it so much quicker if he drops it, so it <laughs> yeah. was a great, great play. Um, very heads up trap from Elko there, it's just completely stumping that push and the, the massive advantage the Arctic Foxes have sort of built up for themselves, he just completely denied it. Yeah, and here we go, the Lemmings have a really good chance, they have this full uber advantage, uh, Raptor only has 30%, they're gonna come in here to this left hand side area, Sorax is in right now, they're trying to create some space here for the team, but Sorax actually gets picked up by the Fonston of uh, Shocky, the sentry gun doing quite a lot of work there, but they have just brought this in, and they only popped the uber charge right now, they do have that vaccinator with the uh, explosive damage, so we'll have to see if this worked as well as it did last time, as D5F all the way in the air gets taken down, so does Adam, the demo man for uh, Arctic Foxes, but there's a lot of picks here uh, going the way of uh, Arctic Foxes, Zesty really weak getting the arrow, it's just the medic, the medic and soldier alive here. Will Zesty be able to do anything? They do have that uh, vaccinator, but oh, it's like, oh, oh, the stalemate though. I thought maybe <laughs> Honey Badger could have done something. I know DD5F was, or sorry, feeling was very weak, but uh, wow. Yeah, that was an absolutely crazy last second uh, there. 30 seconds sort of going in where that massive uber advantage, Arctic Foxes were probably not <laughs> not too confident uh, mm. going in there, but the heavy on um, vaccinator combo, I, I don't know why it's allowed, but you know, I'm not gonna, I'll digress. <laughs> uh, it just seems so difficult to deal with, like if there's yeah. a 450 heavy, got both the bullet resistances on, it's just so hard to really do anything, because they're just, it's just like, uh, to focus it down with so many different damage types, it's almost as if uh, using a pyro would be the sort of mm -hmm. way to go. So, yeah, what, what would you think? What would you do in that situation? Would you run maybe a spy or something like that and try and get a try and get kill the medic quickly? Well, and, or is that is that a uh, futile with the vaccinator? Well, you got to think um, DD5F, he's the man you got to look at. He's got that crit shovel, can't uh, there's no melee resistance, so you know, ah, yes. if you could uh, absolutely if you could get in there, maybe go for a big. Shovel play, <laughs> sort of come in there and swipe the medic, maybe that would work, but I don't know. But the, just this whole sort of aerial denial of the heavy just completely stumped that play, so it's, it's really difficult to sort of uh, get on there. So, even with the way Raptor uses it, it's very good as well. So, but um, it does look like we're going into this golden cap. Yeah, here we go. This is the golden cap for Snake Water. This will uh, be the decider round, uh, as we will see these teams get into this uh, first mid fight. We're really gonna try and win. Winning a mid fight on a golden cap could be uh, could be fatal, I suppose. If it's a wipe, if it's a good uh, mid fight, could see a round here very quickly. But uh, at the moment, we just see uh, Lecor and Anamrasic just assuming some spam. Soldier of uh, soldiers of uh, Arctic Fox is holding on this left side area right now, uh, holding a bit passively for both teams right now. But uh, Zesty getting a lot of damage on him, and as uh, Pony Badger taking quite a bit of spam as well. DD5F does get picked up. The Shocky is quite weak as well. Ince trying to get onto uh, 
the demo man, but gets picked up there by Psychos and Shocky. Feeling really weak, trying to get uh, trying to get picked up here, but he actually does get picked up from Zesky. Really scrappy fight right now. <laughs> so there's three alive for each team. Honey Badger, very weak though, is still in the fight. Shocky above here, trying to take down Zorex. But uh, the Zesky actually has this high ground, and it looks like the Ubers have actually uh, been able to come in here into this uh, mid fight. This is the longest mid fight I think I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, was, that was crazy. They were just sort of uh, trading spam and yeah. sort of poking each other the whole time. But oh my god, Zesty is onto Raptor oh, and he takes him down and he gets him feeling as well. That's Zesty. absolutely crazy. Did he have his gun behind actually into Sol? I don't know if they've seen him, but Sorax has actually picked him up. Surely we'll take him down, but uh. Oh, well, Sora actually gets picked up by DD5F, but uh, Arctic Fox is still off his mid actually right now. Uh, the distraction from DD5F is actually working out more or less alright, but uh, Psyche is getting this piped by uh, Elecor. Looks like Shocky is trying to get in onto this medic, but will get p uh, picked up again. Elecor with some huge pipes there. Yeah, that was crazy. Zesty just uh, got on there and took out the, yeah. com the combo there, completely turning that around for his team. The Arctic boxes were kind of on the back foot that whole time, even though um, I think Honey Badger was down to like 20 HP at one point there. Actually, he's sitting here AFK, I think he might have timed out for a second there, but <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, no, that was a very good play from uh, the Lemmings side, and they've got this big 80% advantage, and, and I'm wondering if uh, who's going to be going for the crazy play now. DD5F DD5, yeah, looking. I'm, I'm looking at DD5F right now, and he has actually jumped in, but the Uber was actually forced from Honey before he even got in there, and DD5F will get picked up, trying to get back into that lobby area. As the Arctifoxes are just going to back it up here to the shutter on their last point. But they will secure, uh, that means will secure this uh, second point, but actually Kulth are dying to the stickies. I'm not sure where that was, but uh, it's one down for each team, so it will be a bit of a stalemate situation. But actually, as I say, that Raptor does have his Uber Charge coming up right now. Feeling, looking to take this in here through this under, this lower area. Stickies, uh, not actually, uh, not here on this tour, so they will be able to just walk in right now. They do have, uh, this high advantage actually from this uh, shack, and they are just going to back out of uh, back out of this point into mid. Yeah, that was um, very weird. I mean, uh, <laughs> Honey popping off that Uber so early, and um, actually, Arctic Foxes are just going to try and uh, roll this in before Honey gets off his Uber. They've taken down Zesty, so the spam is going to be weaker on the side of, of uh, Lemmings, and they take off yes. take off Sorex as well. Both the scouts are um, looking very weak, and uh, Lemmings take down Elecor as oh well. My goodness. So they're just going to be able to roll this right onto mid, and that 70% advantage on uh, uh, on uh, Honey is just going to be worthless because Raptor is going to be able to. Just build this up by the time they get on second without those uh, picks. Yeah, that was a really good play from Arctic Foxes. They just knew that they, if they waited, they would have been at an Uber disadvantage on their last. So they just, just took it forward, and it actually worked out for them. They just had, they just picked up so many frags. I think uh, Alicor went down as well, um, and they will take the second actually. And they actually, because of that, they will actually pretty much have equal Ubers here. Um, but for now, they're just gonna uh, work their way into lobby. Maybe lower, see where they can take in this Uber, but uh, for mm. now. I do see the Zesty Spy though, so you never know. You could mm. be trying to get in there, trying to get some sort of pick, but um, for some reason he's just. Um, yeah, he's moving now. He's going in through lower, going. He's been completely unspotted, and okay, well, that's are holding back. Shaki and DD5F are in right now, and d 5 going for the air shot. One actually picked that up. Shaki is well going down. Uh, quite aggressive there from uh, Arctic Foxes, which, well, maybe a bit of a mistake as. Uh, Lemmings have a lot of room now, and they are on the back foot as uh, Zesty is in prime position to pick up Raptor here. Will he actually be able to get him? He drops the over! Really good play from Zesty, he will get out alive, surely. But he's just yeah. going to try revolvering some people, but uh, he'll get picked up. <laughs> yeah, that was a really good play from him there. He saw that his team was pushing in. Raptor was completely distracted and just drops that uber charge. I mean, Honey Badger still has his uber, but Psyche oh, is yeah. on him on the back lines, and he does force off that uber, so saving yeah. that sort of for his team from getting completely rolled onto their last in him. <laughs> Arctic Foxes being Arctic Foxes are going to be contesting this mid, yeah, on the same point. Uh, so do you see Elecor just making a bit of an aggressive play there, it does take a lot of damage, but uh, manages to stay alive as the downline for Arctic Foxes does go down, and that's just going to prompt this retreat here for uh, Arctic Foxes. Yeah, we did see DD5F trying to go in for a crazy bomb there, it doesn't, doesn't quite get onto uh, Honey as he would have thought. Um, and that's uh, the demo man and the soldier down for Arctic Foxy, so it's definitely going to be a good push for the Lemmings to get in here. We just see them just shaping up a very good position on this mid, and Arctic Foxes are nowhere to be seen. They're out there already. Not even a single pick, just completely gone. Yeah, they just gave up that point. Lemmings just had such momentum coming into that choke, they just flooded into mid. Um, oh, but Diddy's um, sniping in forward spawn, so we maybe maybe have some sort of play going oh, on Oh, yes. There. Keep our eye on, uh, on this sniper here. But uh, Honey Badger looking like he might want to uh, bring this in through Saw. 
Uh, but uh, Uber is up for Rapture as well, so we'll have to see if they will just take this Uber uh, exchange or if they'll wait for something. As uh, we do see, of course, the Sniper. Oh, yeah, it's actually switched off back to uh, Soldier. Yeah, I think um, Zorex dropped through that window. <laughs> he took off a pop shot trying to get that pick, but wasn't able to convert it, so he's just gonna just gonna get out as soon as he can. But the, it does look like the combo from Lemmings is actually coming through lower here. Sorex is completely committed and gets completely taken out. <laughs> Zesty going down on the, the combo there as well, and uh, I think the Lemmings are just gonna try and hold on to the supercharge, but they still can. DD5F is jumping through this kitchen area and getting, just causing complete distraction. Arctic Foxes are gonna be able to take this for free. He's gone actually all the way around, he might actually get a, a pin here onto Honey. He actually does force the Uber from Honey, that's ridiculous, DD5F. Just rocket jumped for miles all the way from second and actually managed to get the force. So uh, this is really good here for Arctic Foxes. Uh, they're just gonna to wanna to bring this in here to second, but uh, they pretty much they have full Uber advantage here. They can take this slow if they like, and they are looking to come in here through this saw area. As uh, Alicor trying to get some stickies here. Uh, he's using cheese right now. So you actually see, uh, Maybe that's Zesty, maybe trying to get in here for a bomb onto Raptor. Will he be able to make anything happen? Nope, gets taken down uh, by feeling, as Ince is caught in. Yeah, Raptor took absolutely no damage there. Zesty, very unfortunate with that bomb, just wasn't able to get any damage off. And feeling in sick as with Raptor just going straight into this lower area, putting so much pressure on them. The, the heavy of Cold Heart's going to go down without this buff, and it looks like Golden Cap is going to go in the way of Arctic Fox. He's very, very good wow. run from them. Yeah, that was an excellent uh, last post there, just cleaning house, and there you go. First map, Snakewater. Going to Arctic Foxes. Yeah, that was um, actually a lot closer than I thought it would be. I mean, I yeah. thought the side of uh, Arctic Foxes were looking very strong from last week. They've um, been playing very well, and I'm very impressed that uh, Lemmings were able to sort of uh, keep, in, keep in it very close, and unfortunately for them, uh, very back and forth the whole, the whole game, to be honest. Yeah. Even that golden cap was uh, like eight or nine minutes long, um, mm. just back and forth constantly. Yeah, these teams are just so evenly matched that like so many strange things happened. I think I just can recall so many strange medic deaths happening in that game. So many weird plays, but uh, really exciting stuff. My prediction actually was right for Arctic Foxes, but uh, that was way closer than I thought it would be. Yeah, yeah, that was. Um, I think the the one to watch out for was definitely DD Five F that game. He was just getting behind so often and yeah. um, getting bombs onto Honey, forcing him off, and he really shouldn't have been able to get in at all. It was very. Very good play from him, knowing those uh, the blind spots on the mm. side of Lemmings, yeah. getting in for free and getting very crispy rockets off. Well, I think uh, we could take a look at some logs, maybe, if uh, we do have time before process. Yeah, that's good, yeah. Um, actually, we got the logs. Uh, oh, yeah, I've got them. Oh, that's uh, just, uh, that is just the golden cap logs. I will post them in one more. Yeah, well, we hope the logs are up on stream. I do have the uh, logs from the uh, from the main game up right now, but um, we do actually see both demo men putting out huge numbers, uh, which I didn't really notice too much from uh, Adam Rasek. Actually, it was really Elecor for me. I just saw pounding that game. Yeah, it's um, quite weird to see. Like, him um, seemed a bit of an anonymous player sometimes. Like, not really going for any plays, but. He was definitely getting a lot of damage. You see that 10,000 damage done, 5,000 taken. He's uh, playing the demo man very, very, very well. Like, uh, keeping behind his team, staying alive, and just making sure that people can't really get through those chokes and stuff like that. So it's a great play from him there, I guess. Um, and we do see Sorex, uh, true style, being the lone scout on top of all the soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> just giving yeah, mad damage. DM Lord of Sorex showing up here. But, uh, like, Arctic Fox is just so many frags, like, the majority of Arctic Foxes are we're just out fragging, uh, out fragging lemmings really. Um, we, and as well, like Ints and Zesty, as much as they did, like I feel like Zesty did actually have a good impact on the game. They just seemed to die quite a lot, and Ints especially didn't seem to have that much impact on the game. Yeah, the Ints was really. He got a few uh, nice picks onto to the snipers and stuff like that, um, but he wasn't able to really. It wasn't really showing up like you would have thought. Like these scouts, uh, Shocky and uh, Psych as you were, they were constantly going for plays, constantly getting behind, and he just seemed like he was. Maybe he was just playing that pocket scout role that you would think, just uh, making sure mm. he can stop those bombs. Uh, unfortunately, DD5F making uh, making it hard work for him. But yeah, maybe he was just uh, trying to play more solid, sort of happy cool kind of scout rather than yeah. constantly going for plays. 
And I would like to point out, and I'm not sure if this is a uh, vaccinator, but uh, there are a total of five Ubers off that game. Uh, and I'm for sure now that I think there was at least three Uber charge drops. Uh, so a lot of uh, a lot of exciting plays that game actually. Yeah, it was. It was a very high high paced game, and I'm hoping like on this map, you know, it's the it's the soldier heaven map. There's ramps mm. everywhere. DD is gonna have the time of his life. I know Feeling likes to go for those bombs as well, but I think he's been running the shotgun all game, so he's not gonna be quite as aggressive with his bombs. But yeah, I, I can certainly see. Some crazy plays coming out from uh, the soldiers on this map. Yeah, I'm gonna be very disappointed if DD5F doesn't run a market gardener. Maybe try that fast soldier bomb onto mid. Maybe pick up a Devon man. Yeah. See some, see some, see some gimmicks maybe. But uh, yeah, we'll we'll have to see uh, if the soldiers of uh, uh, Lemmings can maybe turn up a bit more this map. But I do know that Kills are actually playing quite well actually in sync, uh, as I did say that. But uh, Zesty probably will look to keep his. Uh, Keep that impact he has on the game, but uh, might be up to to Inst to step it up. As we did see Sorax actually playing really well. Yeah, we do see um, both teams ready up now, and they're going to be going straight away into this uh, <laughs> this map. No delays really to give themselves a breather. Just like the game, they're just going straight into the action. Yeah, this so. is quite a high-paced uh, series. Um, but uh, here we go to our first mid fight, both demo men. Uh, rolling out, but actually we do see Adam Rask is really fast. Alicor opting for that uh, series rollout. Sissy was in a bit faster, but uh, wasn't able to get any damage onto the demo man. Uh, we do see actually Lemming swing on around this right hand side area, uh, falling kind of weak. We do see a couple of weak players, and they kind of mirrored Lemmings or Artifox has kind of mirrored this uh, mid fight here from Lemmings. As both soldiers jumping in right now, Feelings and Zesty actually collide in the air, and Feeling gets taken down. Zesty falling very weak, so does Honey Badger. Looks like DD5F will be able to pick up uh, pick up the medic as uh, DD5F gets picked up by Sorax in turn. As it looks like uh, Sokka is wanting to push through here with the, the heal advantage. But uh, Elecord doing a good job of putting down some stickies. Sorax as well. Elecord is just jumping in right now. See if he can do anything. It gets picked up. Oh, huge stickies there from Adam Rustic as, uh, well, Sykes is cleaning, uh, cleaning up Sorax. Yeah, that was a really good play from them there. They saw that they had the heal advantage. And they just sort of let them get their buffs, the buffs mm. to decay on the enemy side and just uh, really very good sort of working on that DM. Uh, Adam just putting in crazy damage there as well and Saika is able to sort of go up on it. And we do see Honey Badger actually is running the Vaccinator. Yeah, that's an interesting um, choice. What do you what do you think of that? Yeah, um, I know it's, it's very good for the last push he's um, but holding on the second, I mean, it seems a bit very odd. Like maybe they're just trying to get some easy spam uh, and try and force off that Uber before they go for the last push. but. And they, they do actually get that. The Uber is forced wow. off from Rapture in this PC area. They're just going to be trying to get uh, in here, but that was very good play from Lemmings. Yeah, that was... Forced off that Uber and just um, no one on the side dies. Yeah, it was really clean, actually, the Uber force. Uh, D5F does uh, go down. Raptor really weak. Hilda trying to get in here and do something zesty as well. Well, actually get the huge direct onto Raptor taking him down. Uh, as we do see, uh, uh, Saika is a bit sneaky, trying to get something happening here. Will it actually taken out? Did take Honey a bit low, but he does have a Vaccinator still, and they're actually just going to keep running with his Vaccinator. Yeah, I think that's what you've got to do with this Vaccinator, is, uh, since it's so good with uh, getting through chokes and stuff, uh, you might as well just roll through as yeah. before they can get this Uber advantage, because if they get the Uber on the side of Raptor, then there's not much they can really do, but we do see them just capping up this mid, really stacking it, trying to deny the forwards, uh, but they're just not quite in time, and uh, the side of Arctic Foxes are going to try and completely stop them getting in here, but I think Lemmings are going to be shaping up to go in as soon as possible. And here they go, Sorax leading this charge, Elecor following that one as well. DD5F with the Market Gardener, no, nope, won't, nothing will happen yet. As Elecor actually picks up a kill onto Feeling. Coldheart is in quite uh, deep, getting picked up there by Saikas. Uh, and they actually do manage to take this point, a uh, few casualties, but they actually will be able to spam out Shocky from this uh, relic area. She gets picked up uh, from Zesty, it's strange, but Sorax is just going to just plow through. Just the DM is so strong, and they're already on this last. Yeah, that was crazy. They're just in this last point already, and Adam has got such a big task to sort of stave this aggression. And Honey is in on his own right now. Both of uh, both of his team are going to be falling shortly. But Sorex actually very good play. Guess off Raptor there. <laughs> uh, Honey is just going to be telling his team back out. Let's get these heals and go in as soon as possible. Hey, dude, Sorex just pounded. He just I was that second, you know, just looking at Chucky getting picked off in rollout, but he was already in one, just destroying, and he actually. I think I think he he, he had a, he got a pick on uh, on this on the right hand shutter door and he actually managed to get out. But here we go. They're gonna actually uh, come in here on this last area. Sentry gun gonna go uh, go down here as they both just pick up the points as there was a lot of time. 
Uh, yeah, they, they, they decided say the lemmings played that vaccinator perfectly there. They just they saw that <laughs> the raptor had gone down and they just walking through tokes using that <laughs> explosive resistance to basically take no damage from any spam that was getting sent their way and the scouts on the side of uh, Arctic Foxes were just not able to sort of get on because uh, they were just playing on such a tight combo and um, they're going to be taking up that first round. Yeah, very quick rounds uh, for... <laughs> <laughs> DD, absolutely oh. crazy, just skips in through that choking <laughs> dumb zesty See down. later zesty, as you do see the spam coming out here from Arctic Foxes is so strong they're just going back out to sewers. Wow, I think DD5 actually just won that mid slowly for, uh, uh, for, uh, wow, Arctic Foxes. <laughs> that is, that's the amazement factor, you're just so stunned that your player has gone down in such fashion that you just back out, you don't know what to do. But that was an absolutely amazing play and, uh, Arctic Foxes are going to be taking that aggression and taking down INS, uh, without the elk or, uh, traps to sort of stave them off there, going to just be able to take it in here. Yeah, and it's going down there, it's kind of opened up this area here for Artifoxes to get in. If Psychos is ahead and you just take a lot of damage, like uh, Shocky coming in as well, trying to get some damage here. Did he 5 f again, trying to go for that shovel, but uh, we'll try to get picked up here as he's very weak. But he does actually get the force off, uh, so Raptor will have the fully bird advantage to repush this. Yeah, I think they're just going to wait for him. Oh no, it looks like they're going to be trying to push in this PC area, but they've been spotted, they're, they're not going to be going for that anymore, but once DD's up, they're going to be definitely taking this in. And <laughs> Zesty might get, yeah. get caught out by Inks here as well. It's uh, actually picking up a uh, feeling then, but uh, Shreddy goes down actually now after Shocky. Uh, that's actually two down for for uh, Lemmings since the Uber has been used for Arctic Foxes. Shocky, or Sorex somehow is still alive, this is actually ridiculous, he's quietly <laughs> shaken down. Uh, and uh, that actually will buy them time for Honey Badger to escape to last. Yeah, that was um, absolutely um, amazing play from them there. Actually, feeling we do see him up on the uh, on the spy here, so we're gonna be seeing if he can get any sneaky plays onto the med here. Raptor probably gonna if he's playing the same way as Snake, uh, it doesn't look like it, but no arrow building this time. They're just gonna opt for the regular build, but um, feeling it looks like he's gonna be trying to equalize that over advantage and make him make it up for his team. And we do see, oh, I think um, Zesty may have just uh, spy checked and maybe uh, even found him out. Yeah, uh, he, he has, he is spy checking right now up here at this uh, uh, panic room area. Um, so this might not, uh, we'll have to see how this develops here for uh, feeling. He seems to have uh, avoided Zesty for now, but uh, still spy checking. Yeah, that's... It's one of those things again. I said it. I think I said it last month. But it's very undervalued. Those uh, spy plays is just going into spawn and checking what the off classes are. Just uh, cycling through and seeing if you can, because you know if someone's sacked on second that they're gonna. There's a good chance that they're gonna mm. come up on like sniper or spy. So it's very good heads up play and very uh, smart play from Zesty there to sort of uh, check for that. Yeah, and this is just kind of wasting time for Arctic Foxes as they are around down. They probably just might not actually be the best play. I think. Feeling is right behind Zesty. Will he actually get? Oh no, he won't. He actually will get found out. That would have uh, been wow. That will Honey Badger gets taken down. I actually didn't see that. But uh, Shocky <laughs> going in for the sack. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> Feeling just completely distracted. Uh, all of the team on uh, the side of Lemmings there, and uh, Shocky was just allowed to walk in and take down Honey. So <laughs> that was although the spy play didn't work out on its own. <laughs> it made up a massive opportunity for his yeah. team, and they capitalized on that perfectly. Yeah, like, this is really bad for Lemmings now, and Arctic Foxes of all the time in the world. Uh, to take this slow, take this through lobby, and it looks like they're trying to get in here through this uh, right-hand side area. Two players are in for Arctic Foxes right now. They're slowly moving their way in here, and they are just uh, keeping the spam on Arctic Foxes. Is DD5F trying to poke around here to this uh, safe room area. Uber has been used here from a Raptor. Finally, uh, Zesty going down, but actually trades at DD5F. And that vaccinator is up, uh, doing some work here for uh, Lemmings. As uh, Wild Raptor and Psyche is getting picked up. There's so many frags happening for Lemmings, and uh, feeling trying to do something to <laughs> get some nile out of his Sorex. So wow, uh, another failed push actually from Arctic uh, Foxes. Yeah, and another interesting choice here from Honey. You saw it. It worked in the first round, so I guess we can't really yeah. question him on this. But he's stayed up on the vaccinator. You you normally see on last holds and whenever medics do that, they just swap back, but. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's working there, using that explosive yeah. resistance to stop DD5 getting onto him, and that's uh, really doing a lot of work for his team, I guess. Uh, they're just going to be able to try and do the same thing and roll onto this mid. Yeah, Lemmings are utilizing this uh, vaccine so well, and this one uses to get through the choke. Uh, but uh, Sorax taking so much damage, will get picked up. And uh, they don't really have the best positioning here from Lemmings. Uh, 
As we do see Soldier is trying to get in here from IT, but uh, won't be able to as Ince again going down. Ince seems to be dying at the worst times right now, as uh, Arctic Foxes will uh, be pushing in here. DD5F is in really deep, trying to get some spam onto this uh, team of Lemmings uh, to force them out to their last, and actually will work pretty well as they will pick up the second point. Yeah, it seems the uh, vaccinator not quite working. Uh, they would have thought <laughs> it would last time, uh, just getting completely shut down on that push. Uh, we do see Inns up on the up on the snipe on the left hand side there, maybe trying to get a pick to save it onto Raptor. Um, but I think Raptor is just going to uber early, getting through this uh, left hand door and see what he can do. G5 trying to go for that shovel, as you were saying earlier. We've tried to shovel the vaccinator medic. But Psyche is in Chucky going down. This isn't really that great here. DD5S is really weak. He actually is behind, but he will be getting chased here. Won't be able to do anything, we'll just crater. And uh, three alive here for Arctic Foxes, and we'll just back out here to second. Yeah, that's uh, DD5F really making use of that shovel, but we do see the Lemmings trying to get out here. A lot of damage going on to them, and I, his SD is actually oh. getting loads of damage on the Raptor. He, luckily, he starts into that choke, he's not wanting yeah. to commit, but um, the Lemmings side are just getting backed out here. Yeah, I don't know what Elecor was doing. He was at second along with Zesty, and he just, kept, he just got picked up. Um, by a soldier, and they're just flooding into last right now. They're, they still have this vaccinator up, and it looks like D5F just gets denied. It's so much time on the point. Ince is so weak. Will they be able to do anything? They do have the spawners. Elecor and Zesty are alive right now, and the Arctic Foxes are just kind of milling over here at this uh, one area, and there's so much damage. Oh, Zesty comes in, gets huge damage, and it's just falling apart here for Arctic Foxes. Yeah, that was an amazing play from uh, Zesty to sort of realize the Raptor was trying to back out that one door, and he just stuffed him up back up into the <laughs> upper area and uh, there was nothing he could do, he was caught in and his whole combo has just gone down for it. Yeah, Shocky actually going for a bit of a back cap play maybe, he's coming in here this shutter area, but uh, Ince actually still on this heavy, will be able to take down uh, Shocky, as uh, the rest of Lemmings are ahead here on second. Looks like DD5 or Feeling might get caught out, nope, manages to get out to, uh, to sewers, and uh, I'm just going to reset here on this midpoint. Yeah, that was, um, that was quite a smart play there from uh, Honey as well, he's, he's noticed that that vaccinator wasn't quite working and uh, he just <laughs> went back into spawn after getting that raptor pick in and swapped back mm. off onto the regular uber charge so they are, even then, they're not even getting an uber charge advantage because raptor is just building so well with this team and they're going to actually have a, a slight uber advantage, I don't think they're going to be able to push off with it uh, saying that they're going to walk in and uh, try and just all die for the, the sack on here to Honey but no, nah, they, they are... Um, does look like they're holding here and everyone's just holding on the point with honey here just going to stop this aggression yeah feeling is in though trying to go for something didn't have the best jump in so actually will just stuff him into the corner just gets two meat shots taking him down uh, they might actually look to get up more spam here maybe take this into choke but uh it is only a soldier down it might just uh might just not be enough here to actually do anything yeah it does look like um just sort of in a bit of a stalemate situation you can <laughs> you, you know that Arctic Foxes are going to go for some crazy play in a second or two, and Sesti <laughs> actually is really... He's creeped in as a yeah. spy here onto this point, and he's going to get a lot of information for his team, and um, we do actually see Shocky is uh, waddling his way back into spawn, so it's going to be interesting to see what uh, what he's going to come up on. Uh, it does look like he's on a sniper. The Psychus doesn't know, they don't know! The Raptor finally finds out, he might actually get him here! What will happen? <laughs> will he actually get the force? Oh, oh my, my God. goodness! Wow. Raptor going down to like very, very slow amounts of HP there, just holding on and just believing in his team, but there were so many butter knives from Zesty there and then he gets one <laughs> pistol shot off as well, so. That is not how you play Spy Zesty, but it nearly worked out for him as we do see uh, Soldier trying to make his way in here, trying to get uh, some space for his team. Again, feeling but Soldier is just kind of trying to poke in here. We do see Shocky up on the sniper. They're just trying to make some space here for Shocky to get a shot here onto uh, Honey Badger, but he is positioned pretty well behind the point. Headshot ring in there, uh, out onto Ince, I believe, and they are just gonna just hang around in the sewer area. As it looks like the push didn't really work, they were trying to get something happening with their sniper, but uh, for now they're just gonna maybe retry this. Yeah, I think they were just uh, sort of trying to shape up for that sniper pick, not really trying to fully commit themselves into that. And um, that was good on them, I guess, uh, doing that strat quite well. I mean, they didn't get anything off of it, but we do see Zesty actually trying to get onto that sniper. He's really close and is possibly going to get picked mm. off. The whole combo is in sewer here, and he does oh, get that does. pick. And that's going to stave the aggression, and then maybe even <laughs> DD5F is just launching in. <laughs> he's on that point and he's trying to get something done. He could have picked up Helicor, but he actually will just be jumping in again. I don't think he knows how weak he is, but uh, it looks like it's not. The best positioning here for Lemmings, as Arctic Fox has actually finally managed to get Shocky into seconds, and once the sniper has gotten room in here, it is uh, not, uh, 
it's a pretty good point for a sniper to maybe make something happen, but uh, that has pushed them back to last. It's a bit of a scrappy fight and rollout, but um, they are looking to take this in as DD5F actually gets the drop onto Honey. Kaldart picking him up as Shocky. Ah, Shocky just destroyed the fight. And uh, Ince, and this is looking pretty decent for Arctic Foxes. It's just two alive. Sorex and Elecor, though. This is uh, all up to Elecor. Can he do it? Spawners in one second, and it won't be enough. Yeah, that was uh, crazy from Elecor there. He was doing so well to sort of hold up, and everyone just keep, keeping those stickies on the point, and Sorex trying to clean up off his damage. But unfortunately, it was not enough in the end, and that's going to tie it up 1 1 from Arctic Foxes and uh, Side Lemmings. Yeah, I wasn't sure if that was a vaccinator or an uber child at last, but DD5F actually did manage to pick him up and just got the drop, which uh, actually secured the round here. And we are at one all. Here we go to our third mid. What do you see, Frosty? I see DD5F is just launching in high. He's completely getting loads of spam onto that point, and we just see them shaping up on this right side. The side of Lemmings are just going to try and get a lot of spam up onto the Arctic Foxes. We do see DD getting oh. absolutely crushed. Denied. He tries to get in there and completely denied from the side of uh, Ines and Sorex just doing really well and I'm feeling is going down to very low health but getting picked up on the left hand side there. DD5F launching back in again and it's really good from these soldiers it's just getting loads of spam damage and not committing their life to it but and it's completely worked for them. DD getting loads of damage on the point like cleaning up with the side of his scouts and uh, Adam really putting in a lot of work but um, <laughs> it's like honey, honey is getting just juggled around. His way. How is he doing this? <laughs> he gets shoveled. Oh, that was an admirable effort from Honey Badger. He actually picked up Uber and just tried to make his way to Rapture, which he actually managed to get there, but just get picked up. Yeah, I think uh, Honey was trying to go for the cheeky sort of swap, swapping about yeah. play of uh, trying to get onto Raptor, but Raptor is sort of holding strong and keeping that Uber charge up, and uh, looks like they're going to try and, in classic Arctic Fox, uh, <laughs> kind of the way that they do things, just go in as soon as possible. Yeah, it's trying to get a sentry up here, but it might uh, be a bit too late. Uh, it is spotted out from uh, Adam Rasek, he was able actually to pick that up. And uh, they're just trying to make their way in here, they have used the Uber, as uh, actually the soldiers of Vince, or soldiers of uh, Lemmings are actually behind, and they managed to pick up Psychos. A uh, bit of a scrappy fight, they are in that uh, vaccinator again. I look we're going down though, but uh, it looks like uh, Vince, or Lemmings have actually held this for now. Yeah, that was absolutely, that was mental, because you just see the soldiers on the side there at the end of that fight. Both uh, Coltart and Zesty were down to like 30 HP, so I mean, just a little bit better rockets, a little bit better scatter guns from the side of Arctic Foxes, and they could have easily taken that round, but they uh, <laughs> were playing the heels very well in that back snare. The resistance is really uh, coming up strong again for the side of uh, Lemmings, and it looks like they're going to be staying on the <laughs> back snare as, as long as they can. Yeah, they do have uh, Shocky up on Sniper Ashley. He's looking to see if he can get an angle through uh, the shutter door. This could be a maybe a good call for the you know they of course Honey is running that vaccinator. If he does get the headshot off, that's just gonna do so well for his team. But uh, it looks like he can't find anything yet. As the Uber actually is brought in, is uh, use no picks actually happening right yet. Vaccinator doing a pretty good job of uh, shooting that damage. Sentry gun will go down. Cold hard as well following after that. And uh, Arctic Fox is quite weak, but uh, Lemmings as well. This isn't looking good as Sesti gets taken down. Sorex trying to do what he can, picks out Zykus, but so much time on the point and they're just going to stand on it and uh, get this uh, second round for them. Yeah, that was a um, very good play from them there. They used that Uber just to kind of get in and <laughs> they were just doing so well to focus down the un Ubered targets on the side of Lemmings that uh, they were able to clean up their damage and just use their positioning to take that last point, so it was very good from them there. Yeah, well, uh, we do see uh, these teams will make their way to this fourth mid fight. Both them in more or less the same speed, taking that uh, choke roll out. Uh, no uh, shovels from DD5 out yet. He will steal that pack and take some uh, positioning here on this point as he actually used SD has gone for a little bit of a fake bomb. Uh, but it looks like Shocky's taking a lot of that, or the Psyche is taking a lot of damage, just get taken out. But uh, ZST and Ian's going down as well. Sorex really weak. Shocky behind them really here on mid, but will actually take a lot of damage. Elecor coming out with a huge pipe. He's so weak, actually will get taken down. This is actually, Artifoxes will actually win this. It looks like a, it's looking pretty bad for them at first, but they managed to turn it around. Yeah, I mean, that just seems to be the way it happens. It's like the the one team gets like such a positioning and feeling actually getting onto Cold Heart here. <laughs> He's going down to very low health, and he is able to sort of get out, trying to make that play onto Honey and uh, sort of make the advantage for his team. Just uh, but. It, very good for him to sort of know when he's not able to make that play work and get out there alive so his team's not just going to get pushed on. Yeah, and actually, you've noticed Shocky coming up on the sniper. 
Arctic Foxes do have a, a round lead, so they might want to try and slow this down. Uh, just see if Shocky can do anything. Maybe force Lemmings to make a mistake here. Are you crazy? Have you been watching any of this game? They're not going to slow it down. They're going to go for crazy plays all the time. <laughs> I mean, we saw in that snake water, even though they had the, the the sort of the round advantage at one point, they were still going in, trying to get those plays, trying to make convert more rounds. It seems to be the way they like to play. They're just so good at working off each other's aggression that um, it's just the way they want to do it. But, um, yeah, you're right. They should just sort of just try and slow the game down a wee bit. It does look like they're um, trying to make some aggression on yeah. this uh, sewer side. Shocky not quite able to get off the pick he was wanting, and then uh, we do see Lemmings trying to push just through this choke and yeah. help around them. Lemmings making a really good uh, change to their positions here. They actually just trying to get all over this uh, sewer area. They have actually trapped them in sewers. The Zesky gets picked up, and the Force has actually come out of Honey Badger. So we Shocky as well trying to peek into the second point. The Raptor manages to stay alive through all of that, but does uh, get the Uber Forced. And uh, looks like Adam Rastic is in on me, trying to do something here. Kaltar, quite weak. Might actually pick uh, pick up the Xenoman. If she will fall. And this is going to be a mid here for uh, Lemmings. Yeah, I, I think that was a very questionable play there from uh, the Arctic Foxes. Was, um, they had such a good um, position where they could have just maybe pushed off of it. But um, instead they just sort of opted to hold in that. And Lemmings did a very good job of noticing that all the players were in there. And there was nothing they could do. They just wrapped <laughs> in that choke side and just completely yeah. stuffed them in there. And, even though Raptor had the, the Uber sort of popped off later, all of his players were down and there was nothing he could do. Yeah, it was looking like it could have been a good opportunity for Shocky to make something happen. Uh, he was on Sniper, but uh, too many of them went into series, uh, and here we are. They are on their last now. Uh, looks like Honey Badger will be moving up into this uh, lobby area. Do you, do you see the Thompson from uh, Shocky? Maybe taking some Uber charge. See some gimmicks happening, but uh, mm -hmm. for now, they're looking like they're just trying to trying to see what sort of defenses they have. We do have that sentry gun up on that left side uh, shutter door. They will just rotate actually around to uh, one as Zesty's in so deep, and he gets destroyed actually by uh, feeling uh, sorry or that's Ince as well trying to see what he can do, but actually he gets destroyed. <laughs> I didn't even know he was that weak. He gets actually picked up. So two down for uh, for Lemmings, but uh, I. Actually missed that Raptor going down and all of that. Yeah, it seems that like Raptor's actually come back up on the uh, up on the vaccinator, so he's trying to take a page out of Honey's book here, see if they can maybe some get work something out of it, and um, maybe even just get completely convert around off of uh, this uh, vaccinator charge. But we do see the Uber charge coming in from that bottom left door, uh, trying to get onto this combo gear, but Raptor just. He's changing all the resistances very well, but he does he swaps back to engineer. I don't don't know what he's doing here. He's up on scout. <laughs> this is an absolutely crazy play. What is this? Is, I this is it, this is ridiculous. I didn't have time to say it, but I I noticed that Shocky was playing medic while Raptor was dead. Now I don't know if that's allowed if you can just switch to medic while your medic is dead, but Shocky was actually playing medic there for a moment. Uh, as Raptor came up on engineer, so I'm not really sure what was going on there. But it seems to have worked and they've managed to take second. That is absolutely mental, yeah. No, I think you are allowed if um, your medic goes down, then uh, you're allowed to swap class, I think. Cause, um, as long as your class is on the field, it's just um, as long as there's not two at the same time. But yeah, that was a very good play from them coming up on the uh, getting shocky up on that medic class. So it's a very underused Zesty's strategy. Zesty's in right now onto Raptor. He's Ooh. just so oh, too fat rockets. That's such a good play from Zesty. That's exactly what I want to see out of him, and uh, DD5F coming forward, maybe seeing if he can do anything here, but Elecor looking to come into this uh, midpoint, that is just incredible play from Zesty. Yeah, I think uh, Shocking needs to go back down and uh, take that medic spot from uh, Raptor, and, uh, <laughs> maybe that's the way they win this fight, but Lemmings taking it in, and Honey Badger goes down oh. so low, and DD gets this crispy rocket off onto him, and oh, that absolutely is, saving that round. That is so bad, I said surely Honey won't go down after this, but uh, that was a really good play from the soldiers of Arctic Foxes. Elecor, it's kind of uh, just stuck in the corner actually in mid, but we got picked up. Zesty as well. Bit of a duel happening at second actually. Sorus comes up on top. Yeah, Shocky does actually take uh, take Cold Heart or Zesty down. I'm not really too sure which one it was, but he did uh, take down that, get that back cap, lots of time on the point, and uh, it seems uh, the Arctic Foxes are just going to be able to take up the second point off of that. But yeah, you would think that the team of uh, Lemmings would just be all standing with. Honey mm -hmm. to sort of protect their medic when they were pushing in there, but no, Didi and like everyone, the, the aggression of Arctic Fox is just getting onto that medic and taking that pick that they really needed. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, as the Ubers will be not exactly equal, we will see uh, Raptor with uh, Supercharge coming up very shortly. It's coming into this uh, lobby area, but uh, 
Foxinator will be up here for Honey Badger. Actually gonna take this into a lobby. Look at the force out. This soldier of Zesty hasn't gone down yet. He's actually brought a couple of players back here. As uh, we do see the sentry gun actually doing quite a lot of work. They managed to uh, have enough they have enough time to get up a, a level three. Let's go play by Inst to actually deny this and looks like the demo man for Fox is still wants to take this in. Might get taken down here in one and he actually does get <laughs> taken down to a headshot from Inst. So that's two down actually for Arctic Foxes. Yeah, they really need to back up here. The, the sort of hyper aggression of Adam was just not what they needed there. He was in all by himself and just nothing to stop these Lemmings players pushing out of last and they're going to be able to take this point for free. And the whole stacking it, trying to deny these forward spawns, and they definitely are going to. DD getting that 10 second delayed spawn as well. Like, um, So they're just going to be rolling this in here. Yeah, well, uh, looks like the vaccinator is working so far right now, and they're taking quite a lot of spam actually in Choke, and they're just going to have to back this up. Adequate coming forward, do as much spam as he, as much damage as he can. Uh, Raptor will actually have his Uber charge up in just a moment. The Zesty uh, trying to go for something, but he gets destroyed. And Adequate is falling very weak as well. The Shocky does get picked up by uh, Sorex. Yeah, we do see uh, Arctic Foxes just taking this in here, and the <laughs> spam of the Lemmings are going to try and sort of uh, force that Uber off of Raptor, but I think. Uh, they're just going to tuck tail and get out here. They they see their predators coming in. Did he find that? Did he was trying so to get close. Them. Yeah, I think. Uh, did he get the hit off onto him, or was it just? Uh, I don't think there? he did. I think he just oh. whiffed it. Yeah, I saw that Honey took a bit of damage. I thought that'd be so unfortunate if he got yeah. a hit with that market garden, but it just wasn't a critical one. Mm. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, Uber up here for Raptor. Uh, looking to. Maybe push this, but at the same time, there is only four minutes left. They might actually just maybe slow this down as much as they can, waste as much time. Uh, as I think, Honey Badger is still up on Vaccinator, and he is, yes, so potentially slow this down, maybe, but uh. Yeah, no, I can see what you mean, but um, the Lemmings side are not going to let that happen. They'd send Zesty and Coldheart in there, trying to get the force off Hunter Raptor. He goes down to such low health, but he's just not getting picked off, and then it's just. Oh my god, the whole side of Arctic Foxes are just going down, there's just no help on there. Raptor has to force off his Uber, but he's already dropped half his team. And they're going to have to get a pick onto Honey if they're going to make any of this happen. A feeling just destroys Ince, and it's only Elecor and Honey here. He will get picked up <laughs> with the sword, but uh, he will pick up the game before going down. They're going to take the second, but uh, well, Honey and the soldiers are actually in here. Looks like Psychos might get picked up, he will. But uh, D5F is here in choke to uh, defend Raptor. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. They just walk in there and just are not quite able to make that Uber work. But you just see Didi trying to go for some sort of play, but he's just uh, gonna have to get out there. Kind of whiffs his jump a little bit, but Coldheart is putting a lot of spam damage onto the combo there. And then uh, the sort of Arctic Fox team are gonna have to be wary here. Yeah, he was following up on the he was following up on the space created from a Zesty actually. His feeling gets picked up as well. Do you have taken these uh, crates for this positioning? Coldheart does go down. Uh, and it's a bit of a scrappy fight right now, as we do see, uh, I think that's Shocky actually in, trying to get onto Ince here, he's full very weak. And the core falling out of series as well, as Honey is so weak, and maybe he'll get out. Yeah, I think, um, oh, Honey does go down, but <laughs> that's looking very, very oh. bad for the team there. So Lemmings cracks. completely wiped, Coldheart is the only one up, the clock respawns in 4 seconds, but if Arctic Foxes are fast enough and use their buffs correctly, then they're going to be able to take this round. Yeah, Cold are taking a lot of damage there actually on last. We'll go down. Uh, Sorex trying to see if he can do anything, but Uber has been used on the point. So much time, they're just going to stand on that. And they will take this third round. Yeah, this is looking very bad for the side of Lemmings here. They really need to go. I think you can get rounds on process in less than a minute, so they're just going to have to completely steamroll them if they're going to mm -hmm. make anything happen here. We don't see any crazy crits plays that are coming out from, uh, from Honey at all, so they're <laughs> just going to try and use the cookie cutter lineup and just and play the best of their ability, but they're going to have to make everything that they do work. And Elicor is so low when he gets to this mid, he screwed up his rollout and that is not going to help them on this one. You do see here, the positioning from Arctic Foxes are just holding so passive, they do not want to give away any picks. Feeling is actually launching in, getting that pick onto yeah. Sorex, very good for him. The landings are just walking across the point and it seems to be working. Kaldart's so weak, actually just get picked up though. And it's Elicor getting taken out, that's actually a wipe uh, from Lemmings. Yeah, no, that is looking very bad for Lemmings now. I think it's only 1 minute 40 left if they're going to make this work. They literally have to press W and cap every single point. But <laughs> yeah, that was very unfortunate. Elcor just not quite hitting his roll out there. And then there's just no positioning on that middle. And 
They nearly made it work, but the sides of uh, the, the scouts on the side of uh, Arctic Fox is just completely cleaning up off of all the aggression and damage from uh, the rest of their players. Yeah, um, this does seem to be dead time right now. It's about a minute left. <laughs> Do you find that King Ocean actually? Wow, uh, okay, he gets destroyed. Try to go in for something. Uh, but Raptor will pick up a, an arrow onto Ince. Uh, so I think uh, the soldiers of. Uh... Oh well, never mind actually. Yeah, Ooh, that kick from Elicor as well. You see uh, Shocky just walk through there and he yeah. just. 180, like directly up in the air, just shoots that right into his feet. But Elkar going in for the frag video clip, not quite able to do it. <laughs> but as this is 49 seconds left, this is looking like GG. Yeah, like uh, this is just this is such a good play here from R2 Foxes on this map. Uh, just been really impressed. Um, but yeah, dead time now. This map will be going to R2 Foxes. Yeah, no, I think the whole playstyle of Arctic Foxes it was just keeping on the aggression that whole game and Lemmings were just getting overwhelmed by it and then losing a few rounds just uh, some silly mistakes that potentially couldn't have uh, happened if Arctic Foxes weren't playing so so well together. It seems like uh, the soldier bombs in there, they just get in, do so much damage and everyone else is just able to work off of it so well. Yeah, well, uh, that's uh, GG here on process. As you do see, Arctic Foxes taking the series, uh, although uh, Lemmings actually will pick up a point from the Golden Cap um, from Snake Water. Yeah, that was um, quite impressive from them actually. I thought I didn't really like the way um, Arctic Foxes were playing last week against Nunya. There was it was just like a complete steamroll five zero to them. Like uh, there was nothing they could really do. So it was very good from uh, the Lemmings side to from what seemingly was a very good map for Arctic Foxes to sort of uh, keep it toe to toe that whole game. And then just unfortunate that they weren't quite able to pick up that round on. Uh, the golden cap to sort of get those two points, maybe get themselves a wee bit of a boost in the standings on the league table, but Arctic Fox is definitely living up to their name of being the predators of Lemmings <laughs> and uh, taking the points that they were uh, they were hoping to get. Yeah, um, uh, I think might be a good idea to take a look at some logs right now. Mm, always a good idea. Mm. But um, we do see here, I'm um, feeling actually, as always, being, being the, the general of the team, taking, taking the heels and doing the damage up in the, the top there. And just sort mm. of a testament to how, even though like the soldiers were going in and creating a lot of space, he was um, he was definitely putting in the damage and making sure that his bombs and protecting the medic were definitely working on him and to his favor. Mm. I would like to point out though, I have actually once beaten feeling an MGE, so oh. I'm pretty good actually. But uh, <laughs> enough about gonna me. See, we're gonna is... see next season. We're gonna see the frisk. Uh, yeah, MG, yeah, Mike yeah. Combo. <laughs> you, 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 you keep an eye out for me. You keep an eye out for me. But uh, <laughs> you don't yeah. really want to be a caster. You just want to get your name known so you can get into <laughs> prem easier. Exactly. I see your game here. I see your game. You've seen right through me. <laughs> <laughs> but oh yeah, that was um, that was a very good play there. Like the whole map was quite exciting to watch. Like sometimes you see some certain teams uh, sort of slowing it down when they get that those round advantages. But Arctic Foxes were not about that. They were just keeping that aggression on and. Keeping it interesting to watch. Yeah, uh, like I think the scouts on both teams played so well that game. I mean, you could give it to the soldiers, but uh, I think when it came down to like this, this kind of scrappy fights that we saw when players are weak, I think the scouts, of course, just did as scouts normally do, and they just picked up all these kills. Same with Sorax. Sorax just played out of his skin these two maps. I have to say, uh, star player for uh, Lemmings. Yeah, Sorax definitely bringing it up big for his team you see there every game he is like merely top damaging a scout it's just absolutely crazy to see yeah. that someone can do su have such an impact on a class such as scout like you think i mean scout is such a hard class to deal with they already with even being able to hit them is just difficult in mm -hmm. most situations but if you're a scout doing like top damage you're definitely you definitely know that you're a shining bright <laughs> So, if there's any if there's any player to maybe pick out, maybe throw under the bus, who who would you say Frosty maybe didn't turn up as much this game <laughs> as you'd have expected or hoped? Um, I'm not really too sure. I mean, everyone was playing pretty solid. I mean, there's no one that you could really say was doing terrible. It's just um, a very close game. But mm. I don't know. Honestly, I can't really say anyone was playing bad. Yeah, it was just. I wish uh... I could. I like shit talking people. <laughs> Yeah, like everybody played so well. Um, it was such a close game on Snake and for quite a while on Process as well, but Arctic Foxes then just ran away with it. Yeah, it was um, 
very close, definitely very close. But um, no, I don't know if anyone wants to come in for an interview. I know Rapture and DD are always always looming about wanting to shout <laughs> their streams and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it'd be quite good to get them in here. But as far as I know, yeah, it was. Um, so do you know who they're um, uh, up against next week? Actually, who they who they have on the horizon? I do not actually, but no. uh, maybe so. Artifoxes can take this win as a bit of a confidence boost. Mm -hmm. Take yeah, this yeah. into their next map. Well, they've, the next uh, they've definitely proved themselves as the the lemmings the predators, and uh, they've taken their points. So they only mm. actually sh shooting themselves up to the top of the leaderboard at the moment without uh, anyone else having played their week week two games. But you know, I genuinely think Arctic Foxes can do well this season. I think. Uh, in, in my opinion, they're definitely going to come second or third. That's my prediction for them anyway. I don't mm -hmm. know. I feel like yeah. it'll be, be interesting to see them against Seven, actually, that sort of clashing styles of hyper-aggression versus uh, sort of yeah. slowing it down, parking the bus kind of style of gameplay. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see how those sort of two different styles come up against each other. Yeah, just check that out. That's week four, Artifoxes versus Seven. So mark your calendars for that one. And uh, Lemmings, actually, you're facing Seven next week. So... I'll have to see how that plays out. Sorry, who did you say was up against them next week? Uh, seven are playing Lemmings. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, no, um, that'd be quite good, actually. I mean, or, I don't know how I Lemmings would play. Arctic no, Foxes are playing Seven, I think. Arctic Foxes are playing Seven? Yeah, I think, yeah I think so. All right, I'll be, I'll be on the horizon. I'll be sitting around trying to cast that game, I think. But uh, No, I think... Um, It'll be very. That'll be an interesting one to watch. I think definitely. Mm. Yeah. Just the whole, the whole way the like the clashing styles will definitely be interesting. You know, see if uh, people get out of their comfort zone and see what happens in the end. But you know, mm. be interesting to see. But yeah, I, mean, I don't know if we're gonna get anyone in here, but um, if not, do you, to, do you want to wrap this up? Just maybe have some closing thoughts on what you have have to say. Ah, uh, yeah, I just. Wow, those these two teams. I just didn't expect such a close game. It was super exciting to cast. Uh, I think especially Snake Quarter. It was so many big plays from the soldiers. Uh, a lot of uh, strange, to say the least, medic plays. Uh, <laughs> good use of vaccinator as well by Honey, uh, which is always good to see. But uh, yeah, really exciting game. Yeah, that was definitely one thing that you could sort of notice from this game was uh, the sort of use of the unlocks. Uh, the whether it be the <laughs> The market garden, the vaccinator, or just uh, any of those things. Like it was definitely interesting to see and keeping that pressure on those medics, making it a very fast-paced and interesting game, mm. despite it being quite low scoring. It was definitely back and forth all the time. Like I don't think there was ever, I don't think we ever saw the clock at the top go down to eight minutes. It was always <laughs> a cap getting going down. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I think. Um. Do you have any shout-outs that you want to do before we wrap this up? Uh, yeah, I'll shout you out, Frosty. Thanks for casting with me. Shout out to Amic oh. on the camera and all our lovely Twitch viewers. Uh, also, shout out my boy, Extus, who always watches these casts. So, uh, yeah. Fair enough. Um, yeah, I guess shout out to you. It was very fun casting with you, I guess. Uh, and then Amic. Don't know how you were doing on the camera work because I wasn't watching, but <laughs> I'm sure you did a fine job. And then uh, because I've been getting harassed on Steam, uh, shout out to my team, Ringo. We're, gonna, <laughs> we're so far. We're gonna win mid. Look, watch out for us. And then also, Ringo Black, our team where all our roster raiders left the team and made a new one. But so shout out to everyone, and anyone I've ever played in double mixes with. So, but yeah, I think we'll close it off there and then call it a night.